I want to talk to you about a game called Way of the Samurai. It's a PS2 game that was released in 2003, and it's not highly revered, but it's a game that I think encapsulates choice and player freedom more eloquently than any game that I've ever played before. The start of Way of the Samurai is a lot like games like Super Mario 64 and Grand Theft Auto. From the get-go, you're equipped with a sword and a pair of legs to walk with. You can immediately go forward and choose to save the girl being carried off by thugs, or join the game, or walk to another part of town and ignore them completely. There's a sense of freedom in Way of the Samurai that I don't think I've ever experienced in a game before. You can really do anything you want, and everything that you choose to do in the game actually affects the rest of the game. It gives you a feeling of actual choice. The dialogue mechanic in Way of the Samurai works brilliantly for a number of reasons. In a traditional RPG, you're given scripted situations where you have to respond to a prompt. Way of the Samurai incorporates dialogue options into every aspect of the game. Say you walk past a guy in the pass. A little brown hexagon will pop up in the lower corner of the screen and let you choose a number of things to say, from asking for directions to insulting them and challenging them to a duel. Even more interestingly, the dialogue hexagon pops up in the middle of battle, and if you choose, you can hit circle and beg for mercy, or insult their style, and get angry and beat on you even harder. Traditionally, you'd be given conversations in-game where you have to respond to a question, not in way of the samurai. Hi. Beyond dialogue, you're also given the choice to escalate any situation. If someone walks past you, you press the L1 button and you simply whip out your sword. They'll either flee or try to defend themselves. You can even kill plot important characters for shits and giggles. There's six endings in the game total. Well, seven if you consider just walking out of town at the beginning of the game and getting the he was never seen again dialogue. All of them end essentially the same way with the end of the samurai era and basically everything you do in the game doesn't really matter anyways. But the choices that you make to get to each one are so varied that the ending really doesn't matter. It's really about the journey. Despite the game being made a full decade ago, it has all these strong focused qualities that make for a really amazing and arguably timeless game. The game has its issues as well. The graphics are dated, some of the swordplay mechanics like durability are frustrating, and the few recorded voice samples sound ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> but it's worth your time. Give Way of the Samurai a chance. At the time of recording, there's copies available on Amazon and eBay for 9 bucks. If you have a PS2, backwards compatible PS3, or some decent knowledge on it, emulating games, I recommend picking up a copy of it and trying it out. There's even a port for the PSP, but it was only released in Japan, so if you can read Japanese, I, I recommend that too. It's actually a really good port. Games like Mass Effect have choice in them, but not quite like this. In Mass Effect, you're given plenty of options to go and do different things, and sure, the ending is different shades of color, but there's something about Way of the Samurai and the way that you get to choose what you want to do whenever you want to do it. It's magical. It's something that's hard to explain. So if you've got nine bucks, ten bucks on PS2, go pick it up. Try it out. 